standing at a door right now. The door is called death. Death will happen to everybody. And after death, the Bible proclaims that there is an afterlife. There is an eternal state called heaven or hell. There is nothing other. There is no purgatory. There is no soul sleep. There is heaven or there is hell. There is, by the way, the truth for the life proclaimed that Jesus Christ is or there is Satan. And hell was made for Satan and his angels, and God has no intent to put you into the hell. For God came because He loves you. You are His creation. He provides the need that you need to get out of hell. And the fact is that you need your sin to be put under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There is no other way to be saved but by the gospel. And the gospel is that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried according to the scriptures. And on the third day he rose again that we may have life and have life more abundantly. We're here to tell you about Jesus. We're here to tell you about religion cannot save. We're here that God wants you to be in His place. He wants you to be in glory. But you have a free will to choose. You have the free will to choose this life that God has provided for you. Or you have anything else. What must you do to go to hell? Keep on going. Keep on doing what you're doing and you'll have a great chance of going to hell. But the Bible says in Acts 16, what must I do to be saved? To reply is, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You are going to take your last breath one of these days and you don't know when, you don't know the hour. You can't put this off, you can't say tomorrow, you can't say next year, you can't say I'm old and gray. You don't know. And when you take that last breath, what is your certainty where you're going to be? If you come out of religion, religion cannot give you no assurance. People like to buy candles, burn candles, pay for prayers and everything else, which they don't even do for their own selves. Why are they going to do it for you? You can trust in men. My priest will get me through. Yeah, but the Bible says about men all have sin come to show the glory of God. How is a sinner by the name of sinner? Say with the precious blood without spot, the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And before a roaming government, before a roaming governor, before a roaming government, his parents and Pilate, Jesus Christ was proclaimed four times. I find no fault in him. Friend, if we were to put you in a courtroom, what fault do we find with you? Have you ever stole a paper clip? Have you ever stole a pen? Have you ever stole a paper clip? Well, the Bible proclaims, thou shalt not steal. Christ is the sinless atonement approved by God that you may have life. If you don't believe in God, you call yourself an atheist. You think that scares God? When it comes to time, in Revelation chapter 20, speaks about the great white throne judgment. You will appear before that God that you don't believe in, and that God will laugh at you. Because you're just a man's seat of a human that is born when you die. But there is an eternal God. There is a God that lasts forever and is forever. And He loves you that the Bible proclaims. For God so loved the world that He gave His own 
to be amongst the throne of God and the one who died for you that gives you life. It's not sitting on a cloud with a harp. It's not seeing Peter at the pearly gate. It's all about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Hell, Satan, he loses. I've read the end of the book, Satan loses. God catches him off into the lake of fire and all the things inside he A third of the angels in a place that was never made for man. But the door is open, my friend. It is open for you to choose life. It is open to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It is open that you will have that unbroken fellowship that was broken in Genesis chapter 3, that you became a sinner. You became alienated by the God and God because of your sin. For there is none righteous, no, not one. I'm here to tell you not just to preach hell, 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 hell. I'm here to teach you the gift of God and eternal life in Jesus Christ. He that has the Son has blood. He that has not the blood, he that has not the Son shall see the wrath of God and fire upon him. For Jesus said you must be born again, because your first birth is wrong. Your first birth is after the Father, Satan, after the devil, the liar, the murderer. You need to be born again. You need to put your faith in your heart in the shed blood, in the testimony, in the God. For the Lord Jesus Christ, that you may have life. It's not by money. It's not by work. It's not by attendance. It's not by baptism. It's not by church. It's not by man. Christ said, Come on to me, all you heavy, heavy ladies. All you that burn, come on to me. He'll give you peace. You will not have your party in hell. You will not have your alcohol in hell. Hell burns, hell is fire, and alcohol burns. Get alcohol, you're in hell. You will not have no pain relievers. You will have no medicine, no drugs. In Luke 16, you are in hell, in torment, in pain, in suffering for all eternity. And you don't have to go. You can just trust on the Lord Jesus Christ, God's instrument, God's way, God's truth, God's way. You can have the perfect peace. You can have the perfect mercy. You can have the everlasting grace of God. It's all upon Jesus. It's all called upon Jesus. Come on over here. We'll show you. We'll give you God for back. We'll open the Bible. We'll show you the way. The door is open. But one day, when you take your final breath, the door is closed. And once you reach into eternity, you cannot redo. You cannot come back. You can't push the button and start your game all over again. Your choice is hell. At the point that the man wants to die, but after that, Judgment coming, my friend. Be on the right side of God. The right side of God is seated the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No other. There's no other truth, there's no other way, and there's no other life but by Jesus Christ and God. Friend, I come to you, I tell you, I plead with you, but I can't make your decision. I come to tell you, come on over here, we'll tell you, we'll up a Bible, read the stop the side. I tell you that Jesus Christ is your answer. Jesus Christ is the way to get to God. No man cometh unto the Father, he says, except by him. No man cometh unto the Father, he doesn't say by Pope, he doesn't say by church, he doesn't say by He says, no man cometh unto the Father, that Father is God, except by him, by Jesus. Jesus alone. And if you can prove your own self, you can provide your own salvation, then why did he go to the cross? 
Why is the tomb empty this morning? It's gone. There's no one there. And let me ask you a question about you religionists out there. Why do you put him back on the cross when he's off the cross to sit at the right hand of God? Why do you mock his resurrection? Why do you mock the gospel? If he's still nailed on that cross, there is no gospel. Because the gospel is, for the Christians, that Paul writes to us that Christ died for our sins. Christ was very important to the Christians. And Christ arose from the grave according to Scripture. Forty-eight prophecies about the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, and all forty-eight, one hundred percent, are fulfilled. And yet there are more prophecies about the second coming, about the tribulation, about the religion yet to happen. And when he did all forty-eight prophecies of his first coming, you wait to see when he does all the prophecies proclaimed about him. Fear the Lord bringeth knowledge. The fear of the Lord brings wisdom. The fear of the Lord will have you come to see that Jesus is your way. The door is open. While you're still breathing, you have opportunity to trust in the Lord. But once that door is closed and death comes, the wages of sin is death. And when you wake up in hell, you are in torment. And Luke 16, you're not coming out. You're not going to come back. I don't care what the movies say. I don't care what people say. I don't care what the books say. You're not going to come back. You're not going to get a second chance that this doesn't happen. You can be without excuse right now. If you hear my words, you hear me preach Jesus. You cannot stand before God and say, I never knew. I never knew that Jesus saved. And God will call this foolish preacher up and say, He preached on the street. He told you. He told you exactly what you needed. He, you call him a fool. You call him stupid. But I call upon Jesus. April 1987, I received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. I know what the Scripture is about, for I am sealed with the Holy Spirit. I am sealed with the Holy Ghost. You too have the spirit of the world and of Satan. Only by faith and belief in the Lord Jesus Christ can you be saved. And then your eyes will be open to all the marvelous works of the Lord in His Word. What shall a man give for a ransom for his soul, the Bible says? Do you think God will take NASA card for your soul? Do you think he'd take a few George Washington and Benjamin Franklin from the ship? Do you think God will take your money, your goods, when he gave his only begotten son? 